país. These wounds have been well taken care of. Henry, how... What's wrong with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale and doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg. A bad one. The bone had come right through the skin. We tried to str... I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that... Oh my god, there has to be something we can do. And what do you suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. Well, I can try. I'll straighten his leg. You? I'll give it a go. It's not like I... So you don't know anything. Don't even think about... What about the executioner from Ratai? He usually breaks bones, but he might know something about mending them, too. The executioner? Even if you could persuade him to come, they'll never... Well, maybe it would be enough if he advised me and then I tried... Look, do whatever you want. <laughs> Goodbye. And cut into the rush, I then. <laughs> Mm. Well, let's go to the executioner then. I need help with a wounded man from Sasau. And why should I help you? It's really important. Hmm? Go on. Do you know anything about broken bones? <sighs> no, Henry. If you want to rough someone up, then you can go elsewhere. I'm an executioner, not a thug. No, no, it's not that. The exact opposite, actually. There's a man in Sasau with a badly broken leg. They tried to straighten it, but now he's unconscious, and he just keeps getting weaker. Hmm. And the monks won't touch him? Yeah, that's right. They say it's in God's hands. True enough. 
but it doesn't mean we can't help him too. Where's the leg broken? Above the ankle. All right, listen. They won't let me in to see him, but it's not all that hard to deal with. There are two bones there, most likely both broken. One of them probably didn't set, or it set badly. You can find both of them by feeling for them. If he's lost weight, it'll be all the easier. You have to find the place where the break is and get the two parts together. But the pain will be agonizing. He'll scream like a wounded beast and flail around all over the place. You'll have to get some strong fellows to hold him down so he doesn't do himself a worse injury. Don't be afraid to dig your fingers right into the flesh. And don't let the screaming put you off. Oof. All right. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. <laughs> you will. Good luck, Hal. <laughs> Hmm, I said back then. Right, we're back here now, let's mend him. Are you holding him firmly? Aye. I see you look much better. No, I feel much better. Then I heard it was all down to you. Thank you. If you ever need to know about anything that's going on in Sasau, come and see me. There's nothing much happens here without my knowledge. Thomas is my name. Yeah, ask him about the crimps. How are you doing? Feeling better yet? Aye, much better. I'm truly grateful. A bit longer and I'll be able to run back to the woods and carry on. Well, never mind. Very kind of you to look in on me. Truth be told, I didn't come just for your health. What do you need? Well, I've heard tell there's work for fearless men who enjoy a bit of silver. Ah, I believe I can help you with that. They used to frequent the tavern, but now they meet in the church. The church? Aye, that's right. The church is locked at night, but if you see a light, the door will be open. Go in there and wait. Say a prayer or something, and then you'll see. That's it? I don't need to speak to anyone? Just doing what I told you is enough. They'll give you a good look over and see if you've got the metal. Don't you worry about that. All right, thank you. You took care of me. Why wouldn't I help you? Tit for tat, eh? May the Lord watch over you. Hmm, okay, that's saved. Oh, how do I make, um, save your schnapps? You're the one who's in charge. Yes, I monk so old. Bad I
My respects to you. Let's talk about the price. Naturally. Since it's you, it'll take more than that to persuade me. What about this? Well, a little more, and we'll call it a deal. Yeah, that'll do. I'll go for that. Yeah, because that's a bit too much. Well, let's head down to the local. something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. After that, I think that's about that time anyway. Dark. Ugh. 
Could do with a bite to eat. Oh, here we go. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. What? So, you've been looking for us, eh? What is it you want? I hear you're hiring men who don't mind getting their hands dirty. Is that so? And where did you hear that? Taverns and the like. People talk. Well, that's a pretty tale. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? I don't recall his name, but he was one of your friends. He said that he couldn't take me straight to you, that I had to go through the church. He was right about that, but he still said more than he should have. I know my way around. You won't go wrong with me. Spare me the boasting. I've got a test ready for you. Let's see how you handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. What test? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight, but not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? Steal something? Nah, not theft. If you want to join us, you have to kill Pius. Who's Pius? And why should I kill him? That's none of your business. But I'll tell you anyway, because it's an instructive tale. Pius was one of us, but he fucked up. How? Did he steal something? Yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money, ran away. A few boys died over it. Showed a distinct lack of loyalty. And as soon as he's dead, you can join us. I'll have to find him first. <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know where he is. Then why haven't you killed him yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable boys? It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Oh, he would have been dead long since. He's in the, uh, cloister, or whatever it is. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest, but it didn't quite work out. Well, let's ask him what he looks like. How will I recognize Pius? He won't have been there long. He should be the only new one there. But what if there are others? What does he look like? Normal. He always went about well dressed and had a fine looking dagger. Yes, except he'll be given a robe and they'll take his knife. Don't you have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is and get him to betray himself? Try getting him drunk, then send him straight to hell. Get him drunk? In a monastery? <laughs> We're better. There's more wine there than in the royal cellars. And I doubt he's suddenly stopped drinking. And how am I supposed to get into the cloister? Hey, you'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. I've heard there's some cave underneath. The cave of Saint Procopius. There might be a way into it from outside. And do you have any other ideas besides secret passages? Well... There is this one fellow been hanging around the taverns, supposed to join the monastery soon. Might be he could help you somehow. I'd try talking to him if I were you. And if he doesn't help, 
Knock him on his ass and take anything he's got that you could use to pass yourself off as him. A letter of admittance to the monastery, or whatever. Fine. So I've got to kill Pius. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy who's joining the order, right? More or less. And now the main thing. The main thing is to kill him, isn't it? <laughs> of course. But that's not all. All hell's gonna break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. And what else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. And if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. Bring his dice and the money if I find it. And where should I bring it? From the monastery, head east across the river. There'll be a swamp where you'll find a fire pit. Go there at night and light a fire. Make it nice and big and we'll show up. Take the dice and the money and then tell you where to report. Got it? Right, I'm to slip into the best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money, and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. Yeah, that's the idea. <sighs> well, you can at least say a few Hail Marys for me. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. <laughs> and remember, we'll be keeping tabs. So don't you try to run off, alright? Good luck then.